Happy once again, and then we are looking at mathematics. But this time around, we're going to do something quite interesting. We're going to algebra, algebra. And the question is, what is algebra? For me, algebra simply talks about using letters and numbers, playing with letters and numbers. How we play with them, you get to find out. So I want you to be very attentive. Our reference text will be the New General Mathematics, chapter 5 and page 34. And if need be, we may refer to other textbooks to augment our understanding. Now, look at question 1. Exercise 5A. Question 1. It says 3 plus 2. What's the answer? 5. How do you know it's 5? It means 3 plus 2 means start from 3, count 2 more steps. So 3, count 2, 4, 5. So the answer is 5. Start from 3, count 2 steps. So 3, 4, 5. So the answer becomes 5. 3 plus 2 means start from 3, go to go 2 more steps. So if you think in that regard, you'll be able to solve the questions quickly. Then number 2 says 8 minus 2. Means start from 8, go back 2 steps. 8 minus 2 means start from 8, go back 2 steps. So if I'm starting from 8, I'll go what? 7, I'll go what? 6. These are 2 steps I'm taking. So the answer is 6. You need to begin to process numbers like that. Start from 8, go to go back. Minus means go back, count backwards. Plus means count forward. But let's go to question 3. It says 7 plus 7. Now, here there are two ways to do this. 7 has occurred two times. This 7 plus 7 is 8 and 7 times 2. 7 times 1, 7, 7 times 2, 14. So a student can say 7 times 2, 14. Or a student can say, start from 7, count 7 steps. 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the answer becomes what? 14. All of these I've done in less than 5 seconds. Each question. And, and so I, I average that if you can do it in, in um, 10 seconds, that is, that is just manageable. But you should be very fast in the use of this. But let's go to question 4. In question 4, 7 minus 7, you don't need to think. This question you can get in less than a second. No, when two numbers are the same, the answer is 0. If you subtract two numbers that are the same, your answer is 0. So straight away, 0. You don't need to think so much to solve that. If two numbers are the same and you subtract them, the answer must be zero. If two numbers are the same and you, are, and you are adding them to be that number times two. These are codes you must have when you're dealing with numbers. Number six, four minus zero means don't do anything. Four minus zero means that stay where you are. So four minus zero is four. Four minus zero is equal to four. You don't need to do anything to that. You don't move. I've seen it. Question 18. Question uh, 7 says what? 9 plus 5. Now, I'll give you a trick here. This number is close to 10. So, what I'll do is I'll add 1 here and I'll remove 1 here. So, that is 10 plus 4. That's 14. You must break your mind. It needs to be able to. Not just think in one direction, but also be able to see. This 9 is close to 10. So what do I do? I take 1 from here, add it to here, that's 10. And remove 1 from here, that's 4. So that's 10 plus 4. You see that it's faster when I'm adding like this. Another student can say, okay, start from 9, count four, 5 steps forward. So that'll be what? 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 5 plus 9. That's 14. The next question you have there is 18. 18 minus 11. Here, 18 minus 11. Now, there are different ways you can go about handling 18 minus 11. But I, I think I will, I will use a method. I look at 18, I look at 11. I'll start from 11 and move to 18. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18. I made seven steps. So the steps I have made is the answer. So 18 minus 11 is actually seven. Or I can decide to do from 18, I go backwards to 11. Or someone else can say, I start from 11, I go to what? 18. So that's how to handle that one. Um, let me look at there. Let's go to, I think with that, you should be able to answer question 1 to 20. Let's go to question 21. Question 21 says 3 plus something. 3 plus something will give me 5. It means that I need to look for a number. This is what it means. I think of a number, I add 3 to it, and I'm getting 5. What does that mean? It's subtraction. What they want to do this was subtraction. So I'll say what? 5 minus 3. I start from 5, I go back to 3, or I start from 3 and go to 5. So 4, 5. So 5 minus 3 will give me what? 2. Is that clear enough? Is that clear enough? I'm looking at different examples and looking at different kind of ideas you can apply. Now look at this one. Nine min 10 minus a number. 10 minus a number is equal to 9. Look at it closely. Look at 10, look at 9. They are very close numbers. What's the next number that occurs after 9? It's 10. What's the number that occurs before 10? It's 9. So you need to, you, you need to, you need to hold these numbers very close to you. And what you have is 1. So 1 is a number I will need to remove from 10 to get what? 9. All right. Now, you are told that 14 minus a certain number, 14 minus a certain number will give me 14. I've not done any movement. That's what it means. 14 minus a certain number will give me 14. It means I've not done any movement. So the answer is 0. The answer is simply watch. Zero. I've not made any movements. 14 minus a certain number is what? Zero. I've not made any movements. Now look at this one. 12 minus a certain number, and that's giving me 8. 12 minus a certain number, that's giving me 8. So what I need to do is that, what am I doing here? It's subtraction also. I'm doing subtraction. I have a number, I remove something from it and I'm getting 8. So what I do, I count from 8. I start from 8 and I go to what? 9, 10, 11, 12. And that is 4. So the answer becomes what? 4. So I hope that is making sense to us now. From number 1 to 30. So with that, you will now continue. Everybody continue from 31 to 50. Or yeah, 31 to 60. 31 to 60. This time around, I'm going to give you five minutes. In five minutes' time, I will stop you. So let's start. These are exercises that are good for your thinking. You really need sometimes you need to, you don't need to allow the brain to be too relaxed. You have to push it. And you'll be, you'll be amazed at how well it can deliver. So five minutes, I'll stop you. Now look at question 31. Uh, something plus two is equal to five. This is subtraction. It's what? Subtraction. Now, when you add two numbers, the answer is always the biggest. When you add two numbers, the answer is always the biggest. Take note of that. Let that sink. I'll come again. When you add two numbers, the answer is always the biggest. So any other one I need to get, I'll get by doing what? Subtraction. So the answer is three. That's what, uh, 31. Let's look at 32. Box minus 1 is equal to 6. When you subtract any number, 
the number from which you are subtracting from is the biggest. So essentially, you are adding. So it will be what? 6 plus 1. And so the box will be equal to 6 plus 1, and that will be 7. Does that make sense to us now? Maybe that was the reason why some of us couldn't finish on time. You need to note this. When you are adding two numbers, the answer is always the biggest. When you are subtracting two numbers, the number from which others are taking away, when you are subtracting from, is usually the biggest. So take note of that. So instantly, when you look at the question, you know what you are going to do. Looking at this, it's addition. It's a subtraction. Looking at this, it is what? Addition. So without wasting time, you can just look at it and tell. Sometimes the decision of what to do is what may make you stay too long on the question. All right. All right. So with that, now let's look at another one. If I'm adding two numbers, let's say I'm adding, let me pick one here. Let's say I have three equal to two plus box. Now, irrespective of where this one is, I am subtracting. Irrespective of where this is. So if I'm reading this to be this. Eh? I'll still be subtracting. Because if you add up things, the answer is always a bigger value. It's always a value bigger than what you had before. If you are subtracting things, the answer will be a lesser value. So here is sort of how this. I need you to write this as I'm writing them on the board. Because Today I will give you a test. I will give you 100 questions. Today I will give you 100 questions like this. And I will expect you to be able to um, get it done in one hour. It's possible. One hour, one hour is too much. Uh, in a minute, you should be able to do six questions. Average, average six questions. So in one hour, six times 10. In a minute, you should have done six. In 60 minutes, you should have done 360 questions. So you see, that is possible. So because of fatigue and whatever, I can say, okay, um, you should be able to finish the 100 questions in like um, 10 minutes. 10 minutes may be too small. Let's say 15 minutes. You should be able to finish 100 questions in 15 minutes of this magnitude. So let's push ourselves, eh? right? I'm trying to see there are other questions that... Now, look at this. Look at another one. If I have box equal to 0 minus 8. Sorry, is that what it is there? No. If I have 0 equal to box minus 8, you know without thinking that this one will be 8. You know without thinking that that will be 8. Why? So if you have this kind of setting, this number box automatically is equal to 8. Automatically. The only way you get 0 when you subtract is the only way you get 0 is when you subtract numbers that are what? Identical. Alright. We are going to do another test now. We have done to 60. Now, I want you to do from 61 to 76. Let me see how you're going to solve it. This one, you're going to finish it in five minutes. So let's see how you respond to that. Don't worry, I'm testing. I'm seeing how you respond to that. So we were going to look at... Let's look at uh, question... From question 61. Now look at 61. 61 says 3 times 4. What is 3 times 4? 3 times 4 would mean 3 
and you read your, your, your multiples, 3 times 1, 3, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 4, 12. Or 3 times 4 would mean 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 added 4 times. And when you do that, that will give you 12. Okay? Now, same thing with 62. Same, I, now, but when you come to 63, it says 25 equal to 5 times box. Now, when you multiply a number, you attain the biggest here. So, to get, now you're multiplying, you know, so to get this one, you have to divide. Biggest over any other thing. So box will mean 25 divided by 5. My answer will be 5. Now, for sometimes, for somebody to say 25 divided by 5 might be quite demanding. So the next thing you do, because you know you are dividing by 5, you cannot begin to read your multiples. 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, 20, 5 times 5, 25. Okay, 25. That means I need to multiply 5 by 5 to be able to get what? 25. So that will help you solve that question. Um, now, what about when you multiply a number by zero? Question 65. Or 66. What happens when you multiply a number by zero? The answer is zero. Anytime you multiply a number by zero, the answer will be zero. So take note of that. Anytime you multiply a number by zero, the answer will be what? Zero. Now let's look at this 67. I have box times a certain number equal to 18. Now, irrespective of where this number is located, this box is located, you are still going to divide, knowing fully well that this is the biggest. So to get this one to be the biggest divided by this. So irrespective of where the number is located here, it is still what? Division. Now, what happens in question? Okay, this is uh, 60. Okay, this was 64. Let's look at 67. In question 67, you have 11 equal to box times one. Anytime you multiply a number by one, you get itself. So without, being, without doing any solution, the answer is 11. One is a number, is in terms of multiplying, one is a neutral number. It does not do any other thing to the number. If I multiply anything by one, I will get that thing. Uh, it's just like you go to the supermarket. A pack of sweets is going to cost, let's say, 12 naira. You bought one packet. Well, how much will you pay the attendant? You're going to pay the attendant 12 naira. That's how it is. So one times grace is grace. One times flourish is, uh, or feverish is feverish. One times praise God is praise God. Why? Because one is a neutral number. It keeps the identity of that number as it is. All right. Now let's look at the ones that have to do with division. Now look at 69. Look at 69. It says um, 36 divided by 9. What's it equal to? Anytime you divide two numbers, if this is the biggest, Oh, my Divided by another number, the answer will be, I think of a number that I can multiply 9 by to get it. Now you can just say 36 divided by 9 and you begin to cancel out or whatever. But you can also, by way of thinking, see that number as a certain number that I can multiply 9 by. 
to get what? 36. So I read my nine multiples. Nine times one, nine times two, 18 times three, 27 times four, 36. So the fourth multiple of nine is what I need to be able to get 36. So that number I'm thinking of is what? Four. Now let's look at another uh, example of this. Let's look at 74. I'm just picking them randomly so that you understand what to do in order to increase your speed. Let's look at number 74. Box divided by a certain number gives me 10. Now, this is the bigger no, this is the biggest number. And I divide it, assuming now, now this happens when you have a whole number as your answer. If I have a fraction, it will not be true. But this holds true because my answer is a whole number. Anytime I divide a number by another number and I'm getting a whole number, it means that the first number here is what? A bigger number. I hope you know that I can write this to mean box over 8 equal to 10. So for those of us who are used to say cross multiply, you discover that easily you see that. But anytime you have this, it means that you are actually going to multiply. So 10 times 8 will give you what? 80. So that 80 divided by 8 will give you 10. I really want you to, after now, watch this very, very carefully. All right? All right. Now, let's look at question 75. What happens when I divide two numbers that are alike? If I divide two numbers that are alike, I will get one. Two same things divided will give me one. And in 76, I divide a number by another number and I'm getting one. It means that that number I'm using to be, that number I'm dividing is actually what? Nine. Because a number divided by itself will give me one. So the answer is what? Box is equal to nine. So that's that for this exercise. That's that for this exercise.